the light in the end of the tunnel, or they have a feeling that they were really out of their body. These people really experience these feelings. Like I would say 20 to 30 percent of uh, people surviving uh, cardiac arrest are experiencing these feelings. And we don't know what's the reason behind these stories. It can be that during the resuscitation, there is a change in the brain function. So it can be explained by the change in your function of the brain. Unfortunately, we don't have any good how to measure the brain during cardiac arrest or even after cardiac arrest. We do electroencephalography, we do evoke potentials, we do CD scans, MRI scans. All these things are good, but they are far away from what we will need to really look into the brain, to the neurons, and to see what's going inside of your head. So again, it's, uh, it's very interesting, and maybe in 50 years we will have completely a different idea of what's going on. There are really interesting stories from the patients, but uh, we don't know whether it's just a brain change or whether there is something more.